good nap right there. How many times do you get to make a coffin for your job? Well, we're doing it today, and we're making two of them for a documentary reenactment. Well, he is, and I'm here to help. He's my lovely assistant. Yeah. We've gotten this far. Look at that. And we're gonna make one more. I mean, we gotta finish this one out. However, I thought I would do a vlog on it because it's kind of unique, and we're having fun making coffins. When do you have fun making? I guess somebody has fun making coffins, but it's kind of a grim, uh, you know, subject. A little bit. We're happy we know we're gonna be in one one year I mean one of these days he'll just go he'll just poof into out of existence and and become you know sort of a translated being why don't you come along and watch us build another one it's gotta be authentic time I've ever used this. Anybody? <laughs> but you gotta be authentic when you're building 1800s coffins. Those screws look pretty authentic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ooh. It'll, it'll tear out. That looks so wet. That is authentic. It's wet. Wood. Well, one more to go. Pros do it the janky way. So. It worked, kind of! <laughs> so we're lining uh, cedar fence board up on the bottom here as slats here, and then we're gonna just mark it and chop it out. You may want to know, why aren't we making it out of pine or something better than crappy cedar wood? It's because today is May 25th, 2021, and wood prices and everything material-wise are out of control. This is for posterity. So. Oh yeah. Well, like so, okay, this. so that 10, what is that, a 10 foot board? Yeah, 10 foot, 8 foot. 8 foot. So we had, one there by, was an 8 foot, by six by, there was yeah. an 8 foot cedar board for $37. One board. One board, so we went with pine. Uh, what did they call that? Regular. This is, this is like like. It's just common regular board. common board. Yeah, that's right, common, common board. board, and it's ten bucks, and that's a lot. That's a lot for but, for one by six by eight. So we're using fence posting that has the notches. Not only does it smell good, it's actually maybe appropriate for a coffin, even though it's a prop, because cedar doesn't rot as fast, and it's it's resistant to termites and bugs and things. So that's why people you make cedar planter boxes, and I made them too. <sighs> It smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. Yeah, and it's very wet wood, so we gotta we gotta work with it before it starts warping. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep going. take a quick break. Shani came and said hi down here and look what she gave me. Otter space. If you know me, I'm sort of obsessed with otters. That's all his Instagram story is. It's just cute otter videos. It's so sweet. Isn't that is so awesome. I love it. Nothing could be perfecter. Thanks, Shani. Love you. Okay, I'm coming back.
Seventeen divided by six. Yo, mama. The answer is about nine point six 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 six. Kaylee came and said hi. So about ten inches. He's coming by to say hello. Bye. Hello. Bye bye. Oh, why are you came? Why are you came? <laughs> He's selling, he's selling the that's a, that's an e-joke. I took that that's from him, and he took yeah. it from Ghostbusters. Yeah. So we've got the top here, and they are so warped. We had to get a big old pipe clamp pincher it's together a, thinger, and then we drew the outline of it on the bottom. And we're going to keep it clamped together and put some ribs across here to secure the crap out of it. What the? <laughs> We're we like, we're like, did they we coordinate? Socks. We got matching socks and what? camel pants and black what? shirts. It's uh, a pretty good fit. Yeah, get your, get your shirt. Put those on your head. Wow. We, huh. What a couple of nerds. Telepathetic. Telepathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. They look I'm handsome. Tell you they're nerds. Get out of here, eh? Just kidding. Huh? It's dead body stuff, yeah. You made a it's coconut fast, drink? Oh, okay. I did. I had a coconut from another show, and I'm like, hmm. Now you got kava. Kava. It's my kava cup that I drink. Yeah. You should put his name on there. Oh, and gift you guys it to him. these nails? We will eventually. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this the so they have a facet on the end nails. that look more <laughs> like old school nails. It's hardcore. <laughs> oh, look at that. We are missing that one. We need that one. It's pretty amazing what clamps can do. These boards here were so warped, it took a lot of pressure to get them trained, get them to behave. I think we can lose the pipe clamp. Didn't go all the way through. Plan B. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Get the rest in real time lapse. My hands in the way. <laughs> well, look at that. That is a Casket top. It's a topper. That's <laughs> the last thing you see for a long time. Wow. It's a little dusty. Yeah. Yep. Let's see how it looks on top. Oops. Oh boy. Whoa. A couple of nails in there. Yeah, we can go use some your, old style your, nails use, and no, glue. Even your new stuff. That'll, that'll sink in. Oh, oh yeah, 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 right there. Yeah, I got a new nailer. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. That's That's pretty it. awesome. So, like we we're just saying, we could do a little, a few side nails to fix that little dangler piece. Oh, it's good. Pretty good. It's a good casket. That's big. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. 
we're gonna try this out. We've got some um, some shorter nail brad nails in there. Is that where you want it? Yep. Baby. Mm. Yep. Okay. Here, you want to try? It? It's slow, you gotta remember. Yeah, sorry, I'm used to buying. <laughs> yeah, it's battery. That is a battery powered 18 gauge Ryobi Brad Nailer. Okay. Right here, right here. Let's get a good shot of this. Oh, right there. Probably just one or two. Let's see if that does it. There's like two buttons on here. I don't know what the other, that other one does. But it sure is cool. All right, so, I mean, that's sort of complete. Now, we've got these nails, these horseshoe nails Danny picked up that have sort of these two facets on the other side that look more like a square nail. We're not trying to say that they were using horseshoe nails. We just want the head. So we've been trying to hide all of the screws, anything modern that's not maybe 1800s. And this is the closest thing we could come to rather than just cutting off little pieces of plastic and gluing them all over to make them look nails. So we're actually going to pre-drill some holes and then put these sort of flat nails in there. So the head will, will come out looking like old timey nails. Are we done? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it even fits Danny! It's me! Wow, you look good in that. <laughs> Thank you. Relax, go to it. We want to go to it. Actually, I'm gonna use this hammer. We should have some fun with that one. Let's see how it works. Oh boy. Oh, we're really proud of it. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. One coffin for you. Nice, dude. Okay, well, the other one's gonna have to be built another time. It looks like it could have been made in the 1800s, really. Okay, well, see you later. Big gulps, huh? What do I usually say at the end? Uh, oh. Find each other. Be excellent to each other. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Haven't done this for a while. <laughs> Toss off for now. Subscribe and click click over there and click stuff. Thumbs up.